Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now Cyberpunk 2077 got updated to version 2.3 a few weeks ago which included the addition of FSR 4. That said we've only just got the official driver to support it. 25.8.1 is finally here and with it comes support for a new GPU, the 9060 non-XT, new game support including Mafia the Old Country and the Battlefield 6 beta and of course the aforementioned addition of FSR 4 support for Cyberpunk as well as a handful of other titles. Titles. This coincided perfectly with my upgrade to the 9060 XT 16GB so I thought we'd test it out in today's video. I did a factory reset of the drivers and interestingly FSR 4 didn't show up in Radeon Relive for Cyberpunk first of all. I had to start the game and open the sidebar with Alt Z for the Fidelity FX Super Resolution 4 or FSR 4 toggle to appear. I then enabled it from here and quit the game. The option then appeared in the Relive software on the desktop too and once I had restarted Cyberpunk an option for FSR 4 appeared in the graphics menu as a standalone setting from the older FSR 3 and 2.1. It's nice that we have the choice. The sidebar may still say it's inactive until you load a save game, at least it did for me. With FSR 4 finally enabled, I decided to cycle through the presets to see how each one altered performance. I started with no FSR at all. Native 1440p with a high preset and high crowds will give us around 80fps. I then enabled FSR 4 but chose the native AA mode which will look sharper than whatever the game's default anti-aliasing solution is but it lowered our frame rate by about 8 to 10 FPS. FSR 4 quality mode will boost this figure up to around 100 though things will vary as we move between different areas of Night City and or the on-screen action gets heavier. FSR 4 Balanced seems to add another 10 to 15 FPS with this hardware and this pattern of 10 to 15 FPS increments continued as I dropped down to Performance Mode and then Ultra Performance Mode. FSR 4 Ultra Performance Mode is rendering the game internally at 480p and outputting it on my monitor at 1440p. To be honest it doesn't look too horrible. There is some noticeable shimmering on distant objects most noticeably with fences and trees but 4 480p never looks so good on my AMD card. We are running into some CPU bottlenecking here though and dips below 100 FPS were frequent. This is unnecessary with the 9060 XT 16 gig, but it's certainly fun to mess around with. I don't know why my brain always goes straight to destroy the graphics mode but here we are. Now that we've descended into the chaos that is running Cyberpunk at 480p we may as well turn the visuals way up. The RT Overdrive preset includes path tracing and looks amazing but even at native 1080p the 9060 XT will struggle to hit 30 FPS. In fact, the only hope of hitting 60 FPS with these turbocharged visual settings is, you guessed it, by using upscaled 480p with FSR 4 Ultra Performance Mode. The artifacts and shimmering I mentioned before seem to be more noticeable with path tracing on. Maybe it's exacerbated by the lighting overhaul. On a more sensible note I'd recommend sticking to 1440p as a base resolution with the high preset and high crowd density option as well as FSL4 enabled and set to quality mode. The game runs fine at 1440p native but if you do want to use FSL4 then quality will provide a nice uplift in performance while retaining a sharp image even without any added sharpness from the sharpness slider. It also seems like the performance gains at least with my i7 12700F and 9060XT combo are minimal with the more intensive presets in more intensive areas. This is quite a brief look at FSR 4 in Cyberpunk but I was quite eager to try it out this morning so I thought we'd finalise on a quick comparison between FSR 4 and FSR 3. Here we are then in one of my favourite parts of the game, the Badlands. With FSR 4 quality mode we're seeing about 110 FPS here. Keeping quality mode on but switching to FSR 3 will give us an additional 10 to 15 FPS but I noticed that some of the objects started to flicker. The little bushes in the foreground and the metal pole on top of the trailer to the left of the screen are a couple of noteworthy examples, though I don't know how well they'll be picked up on video. From my testing with the 9060 XT, FSR 4 does look better than FSR 3, but the equivalent preset will perform worse, as expected. Just like with DLSS 4, it may be a case of being able to get away with the next preset down though. But that's all for this one, I wanted to see if FSR 4 
was actually working with Cyberpunk um, thanks to the new driver update finally and uh, it seems like things are all good after a bit of farting around with the settings at the start. But yeah, hopefully this video is helpful or at the very least entertaining. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and you want to of course and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.